to no coffee needed. I'm Chad right here in the heart of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But today, I want to tell you we're cooking something special. But before we do, before we get into that, what I want you to do is, if you would, please go ahead and like, share, comment, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And guys, please feel free to make any comments whatsoever because we appreciate you more than you will ever know. But today, we're doing a second version of Chicken Bob. Chicken Bob 2.0 because we got called out by Richard at Richie's uh, General Store and Eatery because we put celery and thyme in our chicken bog last time. So we're using all the same ingredients, but we're leaving out the celery and the thyme, and we're changing up the rice because of Carol at the Habitat Restore in Sacristy gave us a different rice. So guys, stick around. Let's see how it's done. I'll put a link to Chicken Bob 1.0 right there so guys let's get started thanks again for watching no coffee needed No coffee needed. We are not in the middle of Myrtle Beach. We are in Pigeon Forge in Dollywood in a great cabin with the entire what? Hey guys, the Charles family and the Stroud family all over right here. Look at them all over there. We got babies, we got girls, we got dudes, we got guys. We got big daddy, we got little daddy. <laughs> Check us out guys, so we are cooking, so we're decided we're not doing our Love Country Bowl, which is our signature thing on our family vacation. We're doing something different. That's right, we're doing the Laura Special Chicken Bog. Chicken and I gotta bog, tell you, that's no. right. Chicken Bog, what chicken is it? Bobs. Chicken, chicken bo Bob. Bobs or Bog? Balls, what? chicken bog. Bog, bog. balls, bog. What? Chicken ball with the ball, chicken, chicken ball. <laughs> Something like that, yeah, that's right, yeah. But Chuck's gonna play for us in just a little bit. But guys, I gotta tell you, I got called out. Richard, over at Richie's General Store and Eatery, said, hey, why in the world are you putting thyme and celery in chicken bog? And I went, I don't know, I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. So anyway, we're making chicken bog, not putting celery, not putting thyme in it, and then we're also changing up on our rice real quick. So anyway, Carol at the Restore in Sacristy, the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Sacristy, she said, hey, you've got to try this rice. She bought this big thing of rice, sent it to it, sent it to me and said, hey, try this. So guys, we're cooking this for the family vacation instead of a little country bowl. But look, we've already got our chicken in here. You've seen it before. You know what goes in here. It's paprika, it's onion, it's garlic. No thyme, no celery, salt, pepper. Got a little bit of butter mixed in there. But guys, we're just going to let that chicken cook for a while. But anyway, say, so, hey, big daddy. No coffee needed. All right, guys, so just stick around. We'll be back in a couple hours when this chicken is done. So don't go anywhere. Now you're cooking. No coffee needed style. No coffee needed. Woo! All right, guys, this chicken has been cooking over two hours. Check it out. That broth right there is running about 190, 195. That's where we are. We're fixing to drain all of that broth into this pot gonna brown up that sausage in the pot then we're gonna put in the broth and the rice get that cooked while that chicken cools we'll get it shredded anyway we're gonna drain this broth get all of those all of that other stuff out of there so it'll be just plain broth put back in here with the rice guys don't forget that's the rice right there that we're using for what chicken bog that's right thanks to carol again at the habitat restore in sacristy south carolina but guys don't go anywhere let us get this prep we'll be back in just a few minutes chicken bog chicken bog <laughs> All right, guys, that chicken's done. We got butter in there. Throwing in the sausage. Gonna get this browned up. Take just a little bit. I don't know, I think we got like four pounds of sausage in here. Gonna get it browned up. Putting eight, nine, 
cups of broth and four and a half cups of rice in there, guys. That's what we got going on. All right, guys, that sausage is browned up. There's four and a half cups of broth. Let's get four and a half more. Hold on. Nine cups of broth. We're gonna bring that to a bowl. Throw those four and a half cups of this rice in there once it starts boiling. Let it run 20 minutes. Guys, it is smelling and looking amazing! Now you're cooking, guys. No coffee needed style. So 10 cups of rice, five pounds of chicken, five pounds of sausage. Check it out. Chuck, what we got, bud? Perlo. Look at what I'm what? talking about right there. That's enough for me. I don't know about anybody else. That is what? That's mine, Perlo. No, it's not. It's not Perlo. It looks Perlo to me. No, that's chicken. But does it have celery in it? I don't see any celery. That's right. No celery. It's chicken bob. Big Daddy, no, tell me what is this? No that's celery needed. No celery means chicken bog. Chicken bog. No and it's not wet. Needed. What are you doing with these people? Jeez! Guys, there's the chicken bog right there. They're just giving us a hard time. We did make it with yellow rice. We took some hints from Carol, took some hints from Richie, and we took some from Nicholas. Guys, there's the updated way to go chicken bog right there, guys. Can't go wrong. We're gonna give it a taste test right quick. What is it, Chuck? Awesome! It's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Sausage good, rice good, chicken good. Oh man, it's fantastic! Good. What you hey. think, Big Daddy? Hit the spot. So so far, we're getting some A ratings on the chicken bog. Guys, we go go over here, check out DJ, see what he says about chicken bog. What you think, DJ? It's pretty good. You ever had chicken bog before? Have not. And you like it? I like it a lot. Good deal. Allie, what, what do you world? think? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Go. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You ever had chicken bog before? No. Did you even know what it was before today? No. No. I love it. Well, good I like deal. It. Yeah. And what's your name? Garrett. Garrett what? Charles. With who? The Southern Charles family. Check them out. You call me with a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys. 10 out of 10 for 10 out of 10 people. <laughs> Can't go wrong with those odds. All right, guys. There's the chicken bog. Thanks for watching. Now you're cooking. No coffee needed, style. Chicken bog. <laughs>